So hi, I'm Andrew Fryer, an evangelist at Microsoft in the UK, and I've just run into Freena, who follows me on Twitter. Yeah, that's and, true. And she tells me she's got a Surface at home. I'm really envious, Freena. You're so, not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> and Microsoft gave you this thing? Yeah, Microsoft built it. My Surface, my developer unit, to support me in my research to uh, put uh, multi-touch devices uh, to help kids with autism all over the world. That is fantastic. And yes. you were telling me earlier that this is you got involved in this because you unfortunately have a, a, a brother who suffers a bit. Yeah, my yeah, brother uh, is autistic and um, he's 24 now, but it took us uh, seven years to get the right diagnosis and we've got the right diagnosis for two years now. Good, good. So you, he's yeah. hopefully getting help and your idea obviously is to pick these yeah. symptoms up early and, and yeah. so other children can be helped. Yeah, so we don't have waiting lists for diagnostics, sure. we can help them. In the earlier stage, uh, they don't have a uh, problem with social skills or or as well. So how does um, Surface help you do this stuff? Uh, well, Surface is a, a natural user interface, so it's, it's especially for autistic kids. Yeah. Um, you, you don't need a keyboard, you don't need a mouse. It's not a regular monitor, so it's not mm. interfering with our social skills. And um, it's, I tried it, unbreakable. <laughs> um, it can use water, and especially with autistic kids, uh, which are often uh, spasms or drool, sure. or mm -hmm. uh, well, they have, have a temper sometimes, or they smash the screen. You want it on a regular touch screen. No, no, I understand. <laughs> but you can, you can have that. Um, and uh, because it's a flat screen, you, for the first time uh, ever, uh, you can uh, have an interaction with the screen. So if you look at our diagnostics, now, yeah. uh, they really have to uh, write down all the scores for testing and with a stopwatch and everything yeah. in the timer. And now they can, the therapist can sit back, really observe the child, and the child is playing. And because it's intuitive, you don't need any mm. other, uh, other skills. And the kids from three year olds, they can work with service. And uh, especially these the kids are very triggered by computers because it's logical. Mm. It's if you press enter, it's always going to be function mm. enter, not mm. be backspace on the side. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so this way they can uh, gather all kinds of information that they can use for diagnosis or also for insight and autism disorder itself. So when they obviously, so if you imagine for a minute, God uh, forbid that I suffer from autism, I'm going to. I'm going to do some tests on this machine, and then inherently in your application, it's going to pick up how well they did and how they responded, and then you collect that data. And what do you do with it then? Well, um, it's, got, it's pushed into the cloud. Uh -huh. so I, I use the Azure platform. Oh, okay. And uh, then with uh, one press on the button, you have the diagnostics. All the Fantastic. scores instead yeah. of one hour of yeah. reporting and uh, mm -hmm. all those stuff. And uh, it's pushed into two databases, one uh, anonymous for uh, worldwide, uh, Oregon, which I call again, yep. the scientists and uh, autism specialists. So they have more insight mm. in this order, but also more insight in my application so I can improve them. Yeah. And get ahead of my competition, which I don't have right now. No, 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 <laughs> so, no, no, it's good to think ahead. And, and for the therapists, so they can use the uh, mm. uh, applications in a better way. Yeah. And, uh, all the data which uh, contain all the personal mm. data, um, yeah. it's, it's gathered for uh, the parents, uh, doctors, uh, schools, so they can see uh, progress for the kids. Yeah, because of course you could run that test again perhaps and then you can yeah. see how people are, are, are improving yeah. and, and so on. Yeah. So you've got the data you've got the data up in the zoo, that's absolutely fantastic. And how long are, how far along are you now? How how close is this to being a, a reality? Well um, I, I wanted to be uh, in, in the far further state than I currently am because well, yeah. due to the recession of working mm. the money was an issue. Uh, but uh, last week I received uh, a big grant from my government. Great. So uh, for the next two years I'm settled. Fantastic. <laughs> so um, uh, next month we're going to start with a uh, big uh, research with one of our hospital universities here in Holland, which are specialized in mm. social skills for kids with autism. Yeah. So um, then we can really make big steps. So I hope to go live in May next year. 
So, um, hopefully, if we're back here in Berlin in a year's time, we can hear a little bit more about that. Oh, yeah, I hope so. Brina, thank you very much for taking time to talk to us.